Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back of course to a brand new video, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to what's going to be a consistent run of videos because I am absolutely sick and tired with going over the amount of different lenses, cameras, phones, everything in my head so much that I've just kind of near enough exploded to the point of right, I think I've got my camera fixed, like I think anyway, we obviously do have the new phone as well which if we need to use it we absolutely can but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating but on a rest day now as you guys know I do train seven days out of the week however I do have an active rest day that being today that being Friday so whenever this video goes up I am not sure we're hopefully going to get it up as soon as possible but this is Friday I believe it's the 20th I said I believe and then I looked at what the date was so I had no clue what the date was it's the 20th it's my active rest day I am going to be going in I'll be doing cardio arms abs the reason behind this is just because my arms can always accumulate up a little bit more volume and they can always recover from it. Abs, a little bit of direct work's not going to absolutely kill me. If anything, it's only going to benefit me. And a little bit of cardio just because at the end of the day, there's nothing better than your cardiovascular system being hit a little bit more than normal and just really being able to provide only health benefits towards it. Now, with today being Friday, it just means that tomorrow is deadlift day. Now, this is the main reason behind me incorporating this more so active rest day or rest day in um, today over pushing it maybe after deadlifts because at the end of the day I love to train that's never going to be a problem but what I then have to remember is with my deadlift day being tomorrow it's going to be super demanding super taxing and I'm going to need a lot of energy for it so with that being said you guys are going to be able to see what I eat the days before deadlifts because as much as yesterday is a rest day I use tomorrow well I use today's food for tomorrow's session so that's why I thought well what better to do than take you guys through a rest day maybe not a normal rest day because you guys are usually used to seeing people pull back on food a lot but apart from that guys no more rambling on for this video we're going to keep it as short as possible so I do hope you enjoy it if you do don't forget to drop the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's get on with this rest day so first things first guys as always we have got four joint support max from Strom and we have a nice little multivitamin here so after i take these guys i'm gonna go and crack on with my first block of work and then it'll be time for meal number one so guys just quickly as i am taking you guys through essentially a full day in the life as well we've just got a little delivery in well i say a little delivery we have got a rather big delivery in of defib v3 from hr labs now this is what I have been absolutely buzzing to get my hands on and I'm sure I've done it in a couple of videos ago I was saying that it was actually going to be coming a little bit sooner but we've waited on and it has eventually arrived and we've got the brand new flavour which is fizzy cola bottles now this comes in lots of different flavours so this is not just one flavour a brand new supplement that comes in one flavour it comes in lots of different flavours but we've got the jelly bean flavour we have got ice blue slush we have got fizzy candy crush we have got cherry and then the brand new flavor fizzy cola balls so of course in this video guys i know that this is an active breast day but i think i'm just going to give you guys a taste test i'm just going to take it for arms because why the fuck would you not take it for arms and i'm a massive stem head i take pre-workout whenever i want to take pre-workout because i'm just absolutely crazy that way do you know what i mean like i am I, like I, I genuinely don't even know how crazy i am to be honest i i just take pre-workout when i want so i will give you guys a taste test fizzy cola balls hr labs defib V3, it is now out, link in the description box below, Kiffy15, you can use my code as always guys, it supports me so much, and on top of that you get a nice little discount off of your pre-workout, so apart from that guys, I'm going back to work, I'll catch up with you at meal number one. Meal number one is as boring as this guys, so we've got 150 grams of your finest chocolate Weetabix minis. So the ones that I'm going on about are these right here. Now this is something I put in my off season around a couple of years ago now and I've not actually had since. I literally went into Tesco and they were on offer so I thought I'm going to have to bag them. So we're putting them back in a couple of days out of the week. Um, they're not going to be in every single day because I mean they're just, they don't do it for me every single day. I'm going to keep in my bagels, my turkey rashers and my chicken for pretty much meal number one. But they'll essentially be moving to meal number two today. So we've got 150 grams of these going in right now I'll then take obviously my meal number two in and then I'll go to meal number three and then it'll be time to hit some arms Sick. 
second meal of the day guys we're going in with the big boy bagels and some barbecue cooked chicken i do like to pride a lot of my meals by is they are relatively quick and relatively easy to make so for example i have literally just toasted two bagels i have put a packet of chicken on here and that is literally it ready now you've got no idea how nutritionally dense this meal actually is so for what this actually contains and how quick and easy it is to make like you guys are always saying like there's there's never enough time or i'm always getting people coming to me like what can i make because i've only got like five minutes to make a meal and to be fair that's never ever the case but realistically speaking like this has taken me lo no longer than 60 seconds to make and it's as easy as that it's nutritionally dense for reference i'll even stick the macros and the calories for just this meal alone up on the screen for you guys so you can see what's in it but this is meal number two anyway again nice and of course nutritious i've swapped between the turkey rashers for the chicken today so i've just decided that i'm not going to have the turkey rashers today we're going to have a packet of the cooked barbecue chicken because it tastes just as good but i'm going to enjoy this and then i'll catch up with you at meal number three Third meal looking like the following. So we've got a staple in the good old diet, which I like to kind of rotate with my sweet potato. It's just plain basmati rice. We do have 200 grams of plain chicken breast in here, and we do have 250 grams of just cooked basmati rice. So of course the microwave will bag guys. Um, on top of what I said earlier, nice and easy meal that can be done in literally less than 10 minutes. It's just cooking chicken breast in the pan. We fire the packet of microwave rice in there. Of course, you can even add like steamed broccoli or something with it, which what I sometimes do. I'm actually having greens with my next meal. So of course, that's why it won't be in this one, um, just because I'm gonna keep it to one meal today. Um, and then of course, it will be separated across other meals over the course of my other days. But this is gonna be essentially what you would classify as pre-workout as well, because I am gonna be going in and hitting a little bit of R, then get some of my supplements ready in terms of what I will need for today. I did actually forget to mention was of course the sweet chili sauce that's in there as well. Always track guys, but one of the main main sources that everybody should be intaking on their every single day should be salt so it's pink himalayan salt in which is a um, source that i use pretty much every single day on literally all of my meals apart from probably my cereal meals um, but this is going to be going in i will literally put two to three grinds on every single meal and um, sometimes between even four to six grinds depending how i am feeling depending on what day it's on um, but this is something that i would most definitely recommend everybody should have in Right guys, we have got the intro set up here and the pre-workout set up as well. So I've got my ride on right here. I've then got the brand new Fizzy Cola Bottles pre-workout in here, of course, which is the one that's just been released, the brand new V3. I have got my intro workout in here, which the only thing I don't have in here tonight is carb up, purely just down to the fact that as it is more so an active rest day, it's not a demanding session, guys. I'm not gonna be giving out that much. So realistically speaking, I don't need the extra carbohydrates throughout my training. So I have only got Level Up V2 and No Code V2 in here. And of course, Sarah is actually on chest, arms, and of course, pretty much my session tonight. So she's got carbohydrates in here. She's got Carb Up, she's got Level Up V2, and she's also got No Code V2 in there. So that's gonna be the intro setup. It's definitely a cola color, as you can see. I'm actually really excited to try it. To be fair, when I opened the tub, I did get like this big mass of like whiff of like, the Haribo fizzy cola bottles that you'd, you know that kind of smell that you do get so I am excited to try it but of course live taste test going down on Instagram so you will see it across there but also I will just film a little bit for this video. <laughs> Post workout looking exactly like this guys. So we've got a big fat sirloin steak in there underneath this peppercorn sauce that Sarah has only went and kindly made. Now I've obviously left it until it's went too cold and she's saying, oh yeah, but it goes all hard and all that sort of stuff. Patch that. We're gonna go with it anyway. We have also got 500 grams of your finest white potato, which has just came straight out of the air fryer. And that is gonna be washed down with some HR Labs Basic, which is my saturation formula supplement that goes in absolutely every single day. Now, as you can see, and you're probably sitting there asking, Kiffy, where's the greens that you said you were gonna put in your next meal? Well, I went to Tesco, I picked up some ice cream, and what did I forget? The broccoli. So I'm now gonna to have to go back. I'm gonna get it for my next meal. I'll then have it, which will probably be either a chicken and sweet potato meal or another chicken and rice meal. We'll go with that, but regardless, guys, a lovely big meal in here um, and then I've potentially got one more meal in 
after this I might have my ice cream or it might be after my next meal but we'll soon find out because of course we don't have that much left it's deadlift day tomorrow guys so we are fueling up right guys you know the score about now we're going in with the Opus caramel cookie of course like as we know already it is low calorie ice cream so it's not going to affect my macros or my calories drastically bad it's not going to hit me really bad and it's not going to obviously consume a lot of my calories within this small snack as you can see i still do have another meal to go i've still got another agf shake to have but again more or less every other supplement in terms of what i would take on a daily basis has been taken in if i do have protein to meet for the end of the day like i've said to you already guys i obviously approach the off season more so like if it fits your macros so i do have a setup of around maybe eight to ten different meals that I do take in on a day-to-day -day basis and I just kind of switch between a lot of them to decide what I'm going to have on that day. Now that being said, that obviously accumulates up my calories, my macros for the day and I never ever ever go a day without. Um, I try to stick to as much whole food, as much real food, as much whole and nutritionally dense sources as I can because that's what I know obviously benefits me a lot um, and again in terms of the performance side of things that also benefits me a lot on that front so if I'm taking in as much good food as possible my performance is only going to benefit from that on top of that my recovery again I can sleep very well off of a nice amount of food so everything is all good on that front but apart from that I'm going to take this ice cream in right now one more meal to go so I'll just catch up with you guys when we get there So in here we've got 450 grams of my sweet potato, we've also got 200 grams of chicken and of course right in here because it gets cooked separately, well I say it, it gets cooked, it gets steamed separately in the microwave, um, so of course my greens which is going to go in with this meal which to be fair out of today obviously this is the only meal that I am going to contain greens in, as you guys know I do also have the green strength that I do take first thing in the morning as well which I do believe I forgot to show you, but apart from that one guys that is going to be my next meal which of course like I've said to you already is meal number 5, then we'll move on to um, a shake potentially a bagel but I am going to go out a walk after this once I get all this in a little digestion walk come back in and I will pretty much be finished off my day guys and just like that we are going to cut this video off right here because I have just been out for my last and final few steps of the night and yes like everybody like you like anybody on the planet who has step goals I have a step goal even throughout the off-season phase we try and accumulate upwards of 10,000 steps per day because it does just keep things in a very good position in terms of the health side of things, the digestion side of things and of course all of the food just really processes a whole lot more efficiently. So we've been out, of course like you can see I am fully wrapped up, I don't actually have shorts on tonight as well which of course is a massive win, however we've just been out, we've got them last and final steps and I'm coming in now, I've got my last and final AGF shake for the night, I potentially might have another bagel and jam just to finish off the night because I know I've got deadlifts tomorrow and I know it's a big day so I do have to get enough food in but apart from that we're going to wrap it up here so I hope you did enjoy this one, a little bit different because of course how long the video actually is but do let me know if these are the sort of videos that you enjoy of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you all in the next video